what I love about these images, or this image particularly, is that this was made at the time that they were producing the Super Spectrum Mix Show um, every, every week. And um, I, I really love the composition of the image. It's very dynamic. And you're literally peering over Chuck's shoulder as he um, works. And um, I think also when you look at this picture, we have a sense of the technology at the time. Uh, Chuck has mentioned he's working on the cassette recorder, and there's a tape deck. And there's also two machines to the side there, one you can see with kind of white and orange buttons, and then a little silver one on top of it. Uh, a, that's a beatbox, and then there's also a small synth um, next to it. The piece of, uh, the, the detail that has most caught my attention and I love the most is another piece of technology, and it's the um, pair of realistic brand Nova 40 headphones that Chuck has on, as you can see. And those are by Radio Shack. Now, um, I recall when Chuck used to wear these and use them, but I wasn't familiar with the, with, the, uh, with the model, so I looked up a review of them online by a headphone user, and this is what he said about this very model. Uh, quote, my AKG K240 sextets are not with me right now, and in the meantime, all I have to use is a vintage pair of realistic Nova 40 headphones. Bar none, they are the absolute worst pieces of garbage crap excuse for a pair of headphones that I have ever had the displeasure of wearing. They sound, these are his words, they sound like complete ass. I can't even describe how bad they sound. <laughs> Unfortunately, until I have my sextets back, they are all I have. And this is a unquote, and that's from a, a person apparently who had the displeasure of coming in contact with the realistic Nova 40s. Um, I'm sure the headphones weren't that good. Uh, but what's really interesting to me about that is this, despite their um, you know, uh, unrestrained pan of the technology, uh, what's very precious to me about this image is that this is, this is uh, people that I know and that you've come to know and love um, at the very beginning of their work, of the work that would become planetary. And working with tools that were arguably crude, um, but as Keith said, those tools were the basis of much of what followed. And also, what's really important is that I've come to believe that when you work with tools, it's important to handle tools well, but tools do not make your art. What makes your art is your spirit. Really, if you're a good tool user, and again, tools are important, the importance of tools is to get past the tool, to use the tool to the point where the tool is no longer there and no longer in the way. And so, chintzy as those headphones may have been, Chuck was able to make some really important and really great music. Do you understand what I'm saying about this in terms of tools?